I have a question. What would God say about your body language in this hour? How would God judge your body language in this hour? Furthermore, how prepared are you to stand on the spoken word of God and to proclaim victory over sin? When the enemy comes in like a flood, will you drown or will you walk on water? We live in a wicked generation that does not know God, does not see God, does not hear God's word, and does not know how to activate the word of God. Therefore, you are lost. And with that, he has sent me to speak and to come forth and to speak boldly, to proclaim victory over sin. And to let you know that he heals, he changes, he resurrects from the dead. It doesn't matter what mountain or what giant stands before you, but he has the power. For it is not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of God. And the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. So how prepared are you to stand up in battle? And to proclaim victory. This is a spiritual warfare. And if you are not prepared and you do not know what to do, you will drown and you will be a casualty in this war. I did not come here to play games and to play dress up. I came here in my battle suit. I came here on the battleground covered in the blood of Jesus. I received the anointing of the Lord. And I spill the blood of the enemy. You see a bonnet. I see the helmet of salvation. You see an army green shirt. I see the breastplate of righteousness. I see the belt of truth. The sandals of peace. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And the shield of faith. And I've come to the battleground. Covered in the blood of Jesus. To proclaim victory over sin. And as God does for me, he is going to do for those of you who believe. Let those who have an ear, let them hear. You came for gossip, I came with the gospel. You came to blame, I came to slay with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I take authority as my master has given me. Because behold, I have seen Satan fall like lightning. I have given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of darkness. Nothing by any means shall harm you. And I come trampling over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of, of darkness that wants to suck up marriage and divide the house of God and divide the men and women of God from each other. Some of you don't understand this because you don't have kingdom thinking. You don't know kingdom principles and you don't know how to act and walk in kingdom glory. With that, I stand boldly on the word of God. And it says... Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And as I speak the word of God, an innumerable amount of angels, war angels are being released to fight the good fight on the behalf of all of those who are looking for their freedom, who are searching for their freedom and do not know how to get it. But we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the power of our testimony. And that is exactly what we will do. There is no fire that can burn us. There is no mountain that can stop us. There is no giant that can defeat us. Because we have him, our Lord and Savior. He is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And he has come. He has sent people. He is raising up an army. 
and we are taking our position and standing and fighting the fight where the battle is is in the spiritual world is in the spiritual world and i give all praise honor glory and power to the most high God, the one true and living God, Jehovah is his name. He is a mighty warrior. And I release the blessings of the Lord over all those who are under the sound of my voice. I pray that God reaches you. I invite the Holy Spirit to come out before you. I pray fire from heaven down behind the scenes and I pray fire from heaven down right before your eyes. And I ask the Holy Spirit to go before me through this broadcast and to fight and to set his people free in the name of Jesus. Be blessed.